Hello students today is the second day of chapter 13 transport we have already learned about that what is the importance of transport why do we need transport and who made the first steam engine now i'll take the feedback of what we have done yesterday first question is what is transportation second who discovered the wheel third who made the first steam engine now tell me the definition of the word industries and raw material i hope you all are able to answer these questions in this picture you people can see there are three types of transport land water and air and today we will learn about roadways and railways Let us discuss few terms before. The first term is roadways, means of transport that is at our doorsteps. Second, national highway, highway which connects states, capitals, and cities. For example, National Highway One is connecting Amritsar, Ambala, and Delhi. The third term is golden quadrilateral. highway which connects four metropolitan cities which are delhi kolkata mumbai and chennai fourth term is railways means of transport which runs on track for example passenger train last term is heritage train railways included in unesco world heritage list example maharaja express Let us discuss few difficult words that you will read in the chapter today. British people of Britain reconstructed, rebuilt, connected, linked seabed land at the bottom of sea. Now students, take out your social studies books and open them on page number 88. You have to mark all the meanings and terms side by side. Let us begin the reading heading roadways mark the term means of transport at our door steps land transport includes railways and roadways in developed countries the major cities are connected by special roads which means land transport is of two types railways and roadways in developed countries important cities are linked by special roads these special roads are called national highways or freeways or expressways mark term of national highway highway which connects states capitals and cities and students other name of national highways are freeways and expressways first of all you all should know there are two types of roads based on the material they are built metalled roads and unmetalled roads here you people can see metalled roads metalled roads are also known as pakka roads and are made up of coal cement and tar these roads are generally found in cities and towns now you people can see unmetalled road unmetalled roads are also known as kachcha roads These roads are made up of mud tracks and are usually found in villages. Students in 4th standard you have already learnt about types of roads. National highway which connects capital big cities towns and ports. State highway which connects different cities in the country. District roads which connects different villages and towns. the national highways which are maintained by the central government state highways are maintained by the state government and district roads are maintained by the jilla parishad or state public work department we have such roads in india vehicles can move very fast in these roads as these are straight roads without any bends and cross roads even in india we have many national highways and highways are the roads without curves and crossing roads 
from highways vehicles can run smoothly in this picture you people can see the national highway you all should know one thing all the national highways are assigned respective numbers so that they may have their own identity example nh1 national highway 1 is connecting amritsar ambala and delhi now i will discuss few national highways of india through a map these national highways you have already done it fourth standard first we will discuss about route from amritsar to kolkata from amritsar you will reach delhi by national highway 1 and from delhi to kolkata by national highway 2 crossing important cities lucknow patna and then reaching kolkata second route we will discuss from amritsar to mumbai here from amritsar to delhi you will go by national highway 1 and from delhi to mumbai you will go by national highway 8 crossing important cities jaipur gandhinagar and reaching mumbai third we will discuss about the route between amritsar to chennai amritsar to delhi by national highway 1 and from delhi to chennai by national highway 44 crossing important cities bhopal nagpur hyderabad bengaluru and reaching chennai till now we have discussed route between amritsar to delhi amritsar to chennai amritsar to kolkata and amritsar to mumbai golden quadrilateral which connects the four metros delhi mumbai kolkata and chennai these are metropolitan cities which means cities which are highly populated for example delhi mumbai chennai and kolkata write down term of golden quadrilateral highway which connects delhi mumbai kolkata and chennai now i will show you golden quadrilateral with the help of map here you people can see map of highway of india this picture shows you the map of golden quadrilateral national highway which connects delhi kolkata chennai and mumbai of golden quadrilateral was launched in the year 1998 and completed in the year 2011 by national highway authority of india and it is largest highway in india and fifth largest highway in the world the national highway connecting delhi to kolkata is nh2 national highway 2 and from delhi to mumbai it is nh8 from mumbai to chennai it is nh4 and from chennai to kolkata it is nh5 india is also connected with her neighboring countries such as china nepal myanmar bhutan bangladesh pakistan and afghanistan by road We have already discussed about the term of national highway highway which connects states capitals and cities it is national highway which is connecting india with its neighboring countries such as china nepal myanmar bhutan bangladesh pakistan and afghanistan by road let us read no more of page number 89 The oldest grand trunk road in India was built by Sheh Shah Suri to connect Sunargaon that is in Bangladesh and Multan that is in Pakistan. Here you people can see picture of Sheh Shah Suri person who built the GT road also known as grand trunk road. You people can see the oldest grand trunk road and it is roughly 2400 kilometers from sonargaon in bangladesh to kabul in pakistan you all have to solve true false given on page number 89 i will read it for you first one is 
the steam engine was first invented by Newcomen. Second, the modern transport systems are grouped as land, water and air transport. The third is, India cannot be connected with her neighboring countries by road. The next heading is railways. Right on its term, means of transport that runs on railway tracks. The most important means of transport is the railways. They can move large number of people and heavy goods over a long distance. The growth of the industrial world began only with the coming of railways. Railways are important means of transportation because it not only carries people but also goods from one place to another over a long distance. Our industries have developed only with the coming of railways. To go from one place to another for business purposes, we need efficient and cheap means of transport. And railways are one of them because everybody cannot afford going through airways. Students, you all should know that India has fourth largest rail network in the world. In 1853, the British introduced railways in India market. The first train ran between Mumbai and Thane. Write down meaning of British, people of Britain. We will discuss about the history and growth of Indian railways. The first Indian railway line was opened on 16th April 1853 and it ran between Mumbai and Thane. India has many super fast trains. We have reconstructed heritage trains specially to attract foreign tourists. All major cities and towns are well connected through the railways. Write down meaning of reconstructed, rebuilt and foreign tourist people who come from other countries. Mark term of heritage trains, railways included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. I will explain you heritage trains and fast trains of India with the help of pictures. Now I will tell you some names of heritage trains of India. Maharaja Express, Royal Rajasthan on Wheels, Palace on Wheels, the Deccan Odyssey, Golden Chariot, Royal Orient Train, Fairy Queen Express, Heritage on Wheels. Maharaja Express is one of the five most luxurious trains in the world. The Palace on Wheels is literally a moving palace. It brings together past and present of Rajasthan and its various cities. Vande Bharat is India's fastest train which can run at the speed of 160 kilometers per hour which was inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi on 15th Feb 2019. Including this we have many other fast trains in India like Shtabdi Express, Rajdhani Express. Two well-developed system of railways we can go to any part of India. Today India has largest rail network in Asia and fourth largest in the world. Put it in the brackets. India has the largest rail network in Asia and fourth largest in the world. In Europe and North America the railway network is well developed and Trains are faster than in India. Countries like China, Japan, Australia and Germany have super fast trains which can run at the speed of 300 km per hour. In Europe and North America, trains run faster as compared to trains of India. Trains of China, Japan, Australia and Germany run at the speed of 300 kilometers per hour. Now you people can see the bullet train of China that is the Guardian. Railway network has developed so much that now we have trains 
running under the seabed which means land at the bottom of sea trains run at different places for example some run on elevated roads for example metro trains of delhi and some trains run under the seabed for example eurostar the eurostar runs in the channel tunnel 40 meters below the waters of english channel connecting france and england but tunnel means underground passage and eurostar runs below the waters of english channel let us understand eurostar with the help of pictures here you people can see the euro tunnel eurostar is an international high speed railway service connecting london with amsterdam disneyland paris it connects england and france now you all have to read page number 88 and 89 and write down the important terms on copy thank you